Hey folks, let's learn something new about the oil and gas industry. All right, today we're at Oilcom. We're with Steve Wilson with Datum 360. Steve, how are you doing? Yeah, hey, Mark. It's great to be here. Yeah, it's great to have you on the show. So, I want to tell, have a little discussion with you. Tell me a little bit about what Datum 360 is doing right now. Well, we're a team of uh, in, in, in engineering information management specialists. Uh, we, we're based in Teesside in the UK. We've got offices in uh, uh, Aberdeen and London. We've got teams uh, spread around the world helping the owner operators specify, capture and manage their engineering information. All right, so you're talking to the owner operators, um, the big super majors, some of the biggest companies in the world. Can you tell me some of the things they struggle with from the engineering uh, data area? Well, it's, it's this is a it's really a long a long running challenge that the industry has been faced with. Uh, if we go back. 20 years, the industry has been trying to specify the engineering information that it requires for operations, but it's always been a, so it's kind of a, a, a an area of work that's always forgotten about or left too late, uh, some meal sorted out later, so it, it's a, a challenge for the industry to go into operations with as full a set of engineering information it needs. You know, if you're going to run a, an oil and gas facility, you need the physical thing and you need the, dis the digital asset now. And that digital asset needs to be as complete as possible. And that's our, our mission in life is engineering information as it should be. All right, so are you finding that when you come into some of these large organizations, that they have engineering data all over the place? Uh, it, it varies. There's a, you know, it's, it's not specific to any particular country. There are, there are different com companies around the world that do it better than others. Uh, but it's generally an area where um, you know, engineers know that they need engineering information on a day-to-day -day basis, but it's often not built into the day-to-day -day processes. Uh, you know, the, the whole industry on the, the way in which we build and design these facilities is often done on a silo basis. So there's a big initiative now to try and de-silo the community, and that's something that we're actively involved in. So when you come in and de-silo this, right, and you touch these assets, what's the end result? Uh, the, the end result uh, are engineers that can actually just get on with the job rather than spending three hours or, or, or three days in a recent instance trying to find the engineering information that they need to do the day-to-day -day work. The end result for us is uh, engineers and, and, and teams just getting on with the, the actual tasks that they should be doing, not wasting the time looking for information that should just be there uh, at the click of the button. Yeah, that is fascinating work, and I can see there's a need for it. So if somebody wants to find out more about Datum360, where will they go? Um, well, there's our website, www.datum360.com. Um, we're on LinkedIn as well, and uh, I'd be absolutely delighted to talk to anybody about the, the challenges of delivering engineering, engineering information as it should be. Yeah, and folks, you don't need to be writing this stuff down. We'll put a link on the show notes so you can go straight to Steve's company. All right, Steve, look, I really appreciate your time. Enjoy the show. Thanks for chatting with us. Thank you very much, Mark. You too.